Hey, we're joined by C.J. Holmes, fabulous beat writer for the Golden State Warriors for the San Francisco Chronicle. So we, we saw it. Uh, some onlookers might not believe that it actually happened, but something about this championship DNA. In your opinion, what, what was the turning point in this game? Um, it had to be that third quarter, right? The mm. Warriors um, went to halftime with a, with a two-point deficit. They were able to flip that into a 10-point lead because of their effort on the offensive glass in that third quarter. I think they had, like, a ridiculous amount, like 12, 13 oh, offensive yeah. rebounds. Then Kevon Looney had, like, seven of them. Um, but that changed the game. It got them extra possessions, which allowed them to create some separation. And once it did that, Stephen Curry took care of the rest. My personal favorite, the circus shot by Curry. <laughs> he just drives it, just throws it up, and somehow it went... And he was fouled in the game. It was it was just that kind of night yeah. for Steph. And it, it's crazy because entering this game seven, you knew that Stephen Curry had to have a monster performance mm -hmm. uh, for this team to have a chance. They had no momentum entering this game after laying an egg in game six. Right. Um, they're back in Golden One Center, this hostile crowd. Steph had to come up big, and he turned in another master class performance with 50 points. 50, a record <laughs> setting mm -hmm. thing in a game seven. Just amazing. It's, just, it's legendary stuff. You know what else is amazing? Three times in this series, mm -hmm. Kevon Looney becomes the Incredible Hulk. 21 rebounds. I mean, that's, what is it about this guy? I guess he just knows how to, you know, thrive in his role when it matters most. Because, mm -hmm. you know, every time, you know, we I've been covering the team for two seasons now. We need the same thing last postseason. Mm -hmm. And I just think to myself, you know, where's this, right. like, monster effort? And not that he's a bad rebounder by any stretch during the regular season, but it seems like he flips into another gear uh, come postseason time. And it's crazy because you can tell, you know, each possession, each mm -hmm. trip down, that's all he's focused on. He's not worried about scoring the basketball. He takes what he can around the rim, but he's solely focused on rebounding, and it shows in his performances. And so we got, what, a day to kind of – Recover, yeah. and then it's the Lake Show coming into Chase Center, and I does that present any kind of matchup problems at least at, at the outset? Well, you know, first and foremost, it's going to be it should be a great series. Stars are going to be out: Anthony oh, Davis, yeah. LeBron James, Steph, Clay, Draymond. It's going to be great not only for TV, but you know, just for the game of basketball in general. I think this is a second round matchup. A lot of people wanted to see. Um, in terms of some issues looking at this series, of course, LeBron James is always a handful, sure. even at his advanced age. Right. He remains one of the most lethal scorers in the league. And he's playing more off the ball this season than he ever has in his career, which is giving more room for people like D'Angelo Russell, mm -hmm. Austin Reeves, um, Rui Hachimura, those guys, more room to have bigger roles um, within, the, uh, within the Lakers offense. But in, in terms of like matchup issues, of course, I mean, you look at Anthony Davis, 6'11", sure. unicorn, um, super skilled. I get think it. he had a game mm -hmm. where he kind of ate up the Warriors in a regular yeah. season matchup. Yeah, last time the Warriors saw Anthony Davis, I think he put, I think he put 40 on him or close to it. So um, trying to limit him will, of course, you know, be a, be a challenge for this team entering the series. Um, you know, I expect a you know heavy dose of Draymond Green on him, a heavy dose of uh, Kevon Looney, and some you know some pretty interesting scheming on Steve Kerr's part in order to keep that guy in check. Last one for me as we reroute it back here mm -hmm. to this floor and what happened today. Back to back wins by the Warriors on this floor mm -hmm. on the road. It just you just can't make this stuff up. Uh, it's it's poetic in a way, and you know, Stephen Curry's 50 points aside, Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, Jordan Poole, they did not shoot the basketball well today. The Warriors got it done on defense. They limited the Kings to 42 points in the second half. Mm. That's incredible. And I think they were sub 40% from the game from from the field and sub 30% from three uh, from three point range in this game. Um, you know, when shots aren't falling, you got to get it done on defense. And the Warriors were locked in at that end of the court. All right, CJ. Well, it's 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 on to the second round, and we'll see uh, what develops there. I can't wait for seven o'clock Tuesday night. It's, it should be fun. Looking forward to it.